I am Asian, I'm Chinese. Uh, my parents came over as students in the late 40s and then, uh, like many of their classmates, they had children and I'm number one. And if you look around, you'll see that there are an awful lot of little Chinese or Asian children taking piano lessons. And so I did with the lady round the corner who wasn't really into making me a concert pianist. She wanted me to like it. What a concept. And so she didn't make me play in recitals. She didn't enter me in contests. She did appeal to my rather acquisitive nature because she made me sight read. In other words, she put something new in front of me and uh, I would have to play it at sight. And it happens to be now, now I realize it's a skill. And she made me develop that skill. And uh, the idea was, if you can sight read this, you can have the book. And I said, of course, I want the book. So I would sight read. And this has really held me in good stead. I have uh, one brother who got the brains in the family. He's a genius. His background is in mathematics, but he is a violinist and a composer. And he's particularly good at writing pieces for children. I also have a soft spot in my heart for cats. I have 22. I'm down to 22. They all have names. No pre nobody reproduces on my watch. And when I retire, I am going to take courses to become a veterinary technician because that is another thing in which I'm interested, specifically in spay neuter. So please support that. And I've been lucky because I've got to go to Finland. I've got to go in, to Europe. I've got to play on the BBC. I've played on NPR. I went to China as one of the first, actually the first accompanist coach, which is what I am. I don't need much sleep and I'm always behind. And uh, when you look at my studio and my house, um, it's probably, they are probably both like my mind, somewhat chaotic, but there's usually something interesting brewing in the chaos. Mm -hmm.